Hello, welcome back. Last time I came to Nirud's lair and uh, was confronted with an old puzzle that still gave me trouble this many years later. Uh, and there's another one coming up that I am not so sure about. So there's a room up here that I already tried interacting with. It felt like I could just brute force my way across it without having started the engine and then fail the puzzle in there the way that I did. So I worry that nothing will have meaningfully changed after turning on the engine. So yeah, the platforms move. The switch must be activated to allow passage. Press each lever once, then twice in alternating order to proceed. I can't trust what signs say about switches and levers. Ah, but it opened these doors. Great. Or at least this one. Did it open both? Well, let's check this one first. It's closer. So you want me to be on the other side of you to push you around, okay? Well, uh, that worked eventually. Darmaka, stay back, you godless infidel! Ah! <laughs> okay, they go in little tiny passages. It's locked. All right then. I wonder if that statue is going to stay there. I hope so. Well, taking all the spike ball damage. That's fine. So maybe there is no additional puzzle here. Let's see if this door is open. Okay, looks to me like there is no additional puzzle with these two levers. They're both the same lever and they're just for getting over there. So that sign says the same thing essentially, just in different words about the uh, the engine room puzzle. What's happening here? Is that gonna activate and spit fire at some point? Oh, hi. Ooh, red one. Are you the same red one I saw earlier? Well, you're dead now. Yeah, they did me a lot of damage. That money went through the door. <laughs> it's so funny to me that it's possible in this game for that to happen. Okay, now there are multiple reds. Maybe not anymore. Now they might be zero. Left hand inoperable. Right hand functional. Okay, I saw the hands outside. Uh, I'm trapped. I'm trying to push, but nothing happens. Okay, so these appear as though they're fingers. Uh, okay, so if that's the thumb, then this is the, let's see, his palm was up, in this angle, that's the left hand. Okay, so this one's inoperable. Where'd this come from? Oh, the bing when I killed the red dude. Got it. Okay. So that's the left hand. Is it? Don't I go... Alright, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Dwarf. This cannon volley should be the end of you. Do you really think so? Oh, okay, that's actually a little more violent than I expected. Ouch. You know what? Maybe it will be. Why can't I go... I went right through that thing. I guess, instead of doing that, I would be doing this. There are things I could be doing to avoid your stuff. I'm not doing all of them. Alright, I guess that's what I was supposed to do. That noise is going to get annoying, so I better put a stop to it. If that was the left hand... Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I have to rotate things in my head, okay? It's a little complicated sometimes. Right hand. What? Haha, <laughs> you aren't too bright to get caught in such a simple trap as this. Oh well, live stupid, die stupid, I always say. Hey, I want money, but I can't get it. <laughs> the real rudeness of the trap. What do I want the money for, though? 
Begin with the most delicate finger. Right. Whoa. Okay, I extended the pinky. All right, well. I think it depends on, well, in human terms at least, depends on genes, which, uh, between the ring finger and index finger, which is, well, longer at least. I don't know about, well, I guess don't proceed with the next most delicate finger. I don't know. Middle finger is always the largest, though. Well, longest at least. And largest too, I think. All right. Opening that hand was really violent. A distant thump is heard, as if something large were shifted outside. Large boulders also seem to have fallen into the next room from somewhere above. Hmm, what could that mean? Okay, I saw a boulder like that outside the coal mine exit and wondered what it was. It's just a boulder. Yeah, it's very spherical, but there's nothing really to it. It's just a boulder on the ground. Okay, so what you're telling me is go back outside. Uh, I'm trying to jump a specific way. I was not successful. Oh, hey, I'm on these things. <laughs> so will the hand have opened as well as boulders having moved? Or maybe the hand opening is what's significant. Maybe the hand opening is what pushed the boulders around. Oh, now it opens. Why was I able to see that, like, two minutes after it happened? <laughs> That's just weird. Like, I was pushing these fingers around directly. Is this how I get to the chest? I think so. There we go. Oh! Earth book? What? I'm gonna guess that's Earth Magic level 2. It is! Earth book. Level 2 Earth Magic. Rains huge meteorites. I'll wait until that can hurt somebody to use it. I'm probably about to have a boss fight. Well, I jumped off a one-way thingy, but that's fine. It's not too far back, I think. Barely anything at all. Great. So there's a door here, but there's also higher up. Uh... Invader has been sighted. Activate the trap now! Okay. Yeah, fun with that. Okay, so Miming's platform was up there. Locked door. It's locked. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can stand on this. Wow. <laughs> Those boots of his have some amazing grip. And also let him swim. The only reason he couldn't was because his feet got too wet before. Oh no, whatever will I do? These are such a huge threat. Just because my sword stays at the end of its swing a bit longer, the one on the left was taking more damage than the one on the right. They're invincible for longer when they break down. All these important little gameplay mechanics. Darmaka, you follow at risk of your life, infidel. You shall perish! Okay. I didn't see anything else going on in this room. Looks like that's it. All right, this is the boss room. This is boss room. I remember this. And in fact, we saw it in the intro video, I think. You're dead this time, without a doubt in my superior midget mind. Oh, hey, you got a super laser. Okay, so let's try this. It did some damage. Ooh. Uh, oh, okay, I see. Only one's vulnerable at a time, I think. That's the story here. Well, shield was wasted. Uh, 
Okay, so this is how the big heads actually become threatening. Right, if I'm breaking you, I need to do it this way. Sure. And I am breaking you. Oh, that doesn't even know how to get to me if I'm standing here. What if I could get any bonus damage from this? It'd probably just, like, increase their invincibility frames. I don't know. It might help. In theory, if I knew the exact time, I could leave it unattended and break down like that. Without having to do anything about it. Yeah, I can get four. Alright, 15 hits. Five per phase. Oh, well, I can just stand here. Exciting combat. Just landed very delicately and didn't disturb that plant at all, but I did. Uh, hold on, was there more to see in there? It almost looked like I could go this way, but I could not, and I wasn't able to move once I got on the platform. So no platforming on these heads. Lots of health in those bushes. Yeah, I can't move right now. Okay. That's my way out, because I guess statue pushing isn't friendly to that. I can see how it's not. Well, there's a ladder there. Doesn't really help me. Ah, I know where a locked door is, I remember. Here. I wonder what's going on back at Anoa. More people murdered, probably. I praise your lofty efforts in making it this far, Infidel. However, I must put an end to your folly here. Oh. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> what will I do? Oh, okay. That does actually get in my way. Alright, I, I didn't perceive depth the right way. So I need to do something quickly, I guess. Do you sometimes hear the words you'd uh, yet not understand? I said it's over! I'm gonna assume I wanna wait the whole time? Whoa, depth. Uh, maybe I don't. I don't think I do. Alright, so. Perceiving the depth of that thing is tricky. Let's just go as fast as possible and see what happens. You will get tired of doing this eventually. No, you won't because you're a video game character. Tiredness doesn't exist for you. Okay, that was too early. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, there we go. Just use brute force if nothing else works. So I'm here. What does this mean? Oh. You know what? Sure, I'll use that. Oops, I, I pressed the button. You didn't listen. Press button. Oh, that one only went a little bit. <laughs> And no longer moves. Alright, what are you about? Nothing. I guess... Oh, that ladder doesn't even really work. Wait, what am I doing here? Uh... Nothing? 
Maybe there was something under that. Yes, there was. There's a stairway there. I see it now. So you out of the way. You go the way you can go. And I get a stair. Oh, it's not a stair. It's a... That's a stair. Okay. What's the story here? Auto walk. Little combat arena. Here we end your advance, now and forever. Formation 42. Ready the brain picks. Take him down, now. I'm gonna pick my brain. Physical strength has been fully restored, okay, well. Hey cool, life vessel. That also restores physical strength. Making the statue a bit redundant. I guess I could come back here and keep on using it if I wanted. Alright, three little diamonds now. And you can't come out of your hole anymore. Uh, oh, I went the wrong way, I see. Not if I wanted the herb. That was the right way. Oh, what? We have to do this again? Okay. There was a fourth one that appeared from nowhere. Yeah, there he is again. No, nope, not having that money. Uh... So Chet's fall and invisibly this happens. I didn't... Oh, really? What? Why? How did that happen? I would... I don't understand how it was possible for me to fall in that gap. Just like, weird trick of depth there. Alright, so jump from the very edge, I guess. <laughs> Is this necessary? I guess just to show that there are many of these and they really never give up. Hey, look at that. Okay, so statue appears. Talk to statue. More things appear. It's weirdly easy to fall off here. So, uh, okay, it's one level up. That's how it is. Okay, I understand now. Whoa, hey, it's Nirud himself. You have desecrated the sanctity of my ancient home. You must be an agent of Melzus. Okay, so Nirud is not the statue itself. This is Nirud. He lives inside a statue of himself. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It seems that you are not my enemy, however, but neither have you proven yourself my ally. Hey, I think I remember something about this scene. Maybe. Maybe not yet. Oh. Don't think this is the direction I was supposed to go. A Nirud fight. I have created this fold in time space with my magic. We shall soon see whether you are enemy or friend, warrior or coward. Okay, what's happening? I don't know, it's not clear to me. Do I want to move back? What's what's going on here? I guess break the rocks so that I can run away from him? Or do I want to do damage? I see little proofs, but no, no obvious actual damage happening. So I think I just run away? Try to be friend? Could not pace that. If I hit an edge here, I'll know I've messed up.
still feels like I'm doing the right thing? Maybe? He roared. I hit an edge. Okay, that's not the thing to do, huh? Are you suddenly vulnerable, maybe? What's happening? Is there some way I could damage you this whole time? Wait. Pow 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 pow. I don't know what's happening. Like, nothing I've done has given me any feedback on damage at all. Okay, I did the right thing? I guess? I guess. <laughs> what an awkward encounter. Such resourceful survival skills can only be... Wait, that crest. You are the releaser. Do I have a crest on me? I thought I placed them all. I am Nirud Releaser. You must know that I am one of the Seven Guardians. Oh, are you? Okay. I stand alone as the sole survivor of the giant tribe. The prayers of Miming and his people have sustained me these many years of solitude. However, even the power of prayer has its limitations. <laughs> Does it now? Please accept my apology for doubting you, Releaser. I sense the courage and sincerity within your soul. Hmm, I see. Nava sent you, did he? That is excellent. It proves he has chosen to fight Melzus at last. I have waited for that confrontation for many, many years. I know you shall emerge victorious. Yeah, okay, this is what I thought. Hmm? Let me handle this, Alundra. Step back. Zorgia. Zorgia? I'll say Zorgia. You betrayed Wilda. You betrayed the Gazak. Gazak. That sounds vaguely familiar. Wilda does not. And now you have taken the foul side of Melzus. You are a mercenary bastard deserving only death. Nerud, you have quite the sharp tongue today. Why must you use words so sharp as to cause pain and hurt? Because you once cared for me, I plan to spare you. But now your little speech has changed all that. Lord Melzus has ordered your death, and I'm now inclined to give him what he demands. Such an ugly scene, and it's only going to get uglier if I have any say in the matter. <laughs> Which, unfortunately for you, I do. Your turn, Alundra. It's time to bleed. Not that I hold a grudge, of course. I'm just following the orders of my lord and master Melzus. A very prudent course of action, given his power, wouldn't you say? If you must hate someone, hate Melzus, not me. I'm just a pawn, bound in gleeful servitude. <laughs> Who alerted the Munchkin Brigade? They come. Aren't you lucky, Alundra? It appears that your little friends have arrived to save the day. He knows my name. That happened on its own. The time has come for me to depart, Dream Child, but rest assured that I shall find you and finish this. Until then, Dreamer, lead a happy life without regret. You never know when it will all end. Alright. So we got a right hand man and Melzus there, huh? That's Miming with the cape. Murderer! You have slain Lord Nerud! Let me tear out his quivering gullet with my bare hands. No, hold him down so we can beat him to death. Kill him, slay him, pick him, smash him. No, my children. This is not the one who did this to me. The one you would condemn as the only one that can save you. Lord Nirut. He does have a beard, I was right. It's true, King Miming. His power will save this land and return peace to the hearts and minds of all. I understand, my lord. Young one, step forth. Yeah, I got a crest for me. Alundra, you possess a strong name that shall serve you well. <laughs> oh man, my name is Alundra. That's why I'm able to do this, huh? Please take another thing that will serve you in like manner. What? Here is my crest. Melza sent his minions to retrieve it, but they failed. Use it to destroy him. My material form is at an end, my children. Leave here, lest you perish as well. Goodbye, my lords. This is very, very loud. Have faith in yourself, Alundra. Despite the hardships, you shall prevail. 
I can't really hear myself talk. <laughs> so Little Dudes saved uh, the crest from being taken by Zorgia there. Oh, that's where it was this whole time? <laughs> Received the Topaz Crest. He did that all on his own, by the way. Hey, it's an upgraded sand cape? That's what it looks like to me. Miming's got a gift for me, maybe. Lord Nerud would want us to help you, Alundra. Please accept this gift to help your quest. Aqua Cape. Uh, is that going to let me, like, dive, probably? Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Where would diving be useful? We would join you in your struggle against Melzus, but we must keep our defenses up here. Besides, from what I witnessed of your skills, you don't require help from such weak ones as us. No, you uh, you kind of just saved that crest from uh, Sorja having stolen it. I did kind of need you there. <laughs> Good luck, Alundra. And now, suddenly, they're my friends. This is really embarrassing, Alundra. I'm so sorry I tried to slay you. <laughs> um, here, take this as a kind of apology. <laughs> 50 guild. <laughs> well, I'm glad that little scene existed. Just an extra little thing. They give me a token amount of money for trying to kill me. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, well, that's the end of that event, I guess. Yeah, I didn't have a crest on me, but he could sense it anyway. Topaz crest. Yellow crest. Left hand, inoperable, but I got the crest off of it. Okay, this collapsed. Right, of course. Yes, all of his uh, thing collapsed. I was wondering if I could go back in there and see any new stuff or something. Didn't feel like I missed any... Uh... Oh, right, by the way. Any chests that could have had falcons in them. I might be wrong, but I didn't think I did. Allows movement in whirlpools. Possession activates this. Oh, so it's another one of these. You don't actually have to uh, have to equip it ever. Just have it. But you can equip it if you want. It just will never do anything. All right, well, cool. That's uh, Nerud, I guess. Okay, so uh, next time, gonna return to Enoa and see what mischief Ronan and Giles have gotten up to while I'm gone. I'm sure it's gonna be something. I should also report back to Nava. He'll want to know what happened to Nerud. He probably already knows. He seems to be on top of things. Kind of. Vitals are pretty low, but that's okay. I'm going back to a place where I can refill them. Alright, I'll see you then for that and to see what the chapter title is. Because I don't know, but... We will both know next time.